This is artifact number 217 of APR history, and it is the female deity from Nukuaro, Micronesia. Title of this piece is Female Deity, or Tino Aitu, and it was created in the late 1700s or the late 18th century. The content era is Micronesia, but we'll come back to that because there are some certain cultural aspects that differ from most other Micronesian arts. There are a lot of these um, Tino Aitu, um, and so there is a range of sizes of them. Some of them are 30 centimeters, and they can also be 217 centimeters, which are quite big. And they are made of breadfruit tree wood, which you can find on the island of Nuku'oro. Nuku'oro is located in the Caroline Islands, which is in Micronesia. As you can see on this map, it's pretty close to New Guinea. And it, it was settled in the 8th century by Samoans who are from Polynesia, which is why it differs from other Micronesian cultures and artistic practices because the settlers from Samoa brought a lot of Polynesian culture. And so Nukuaro is actually considered a Polynesian outlier. And as we can see here, it is culturally and linguistically Polynesian, but it is located in Micronesia. The female deity is a wood carving, and those carvings are made from adze blades, which could be made from indakna shells which are um, endemic to the Nukuaro Island, or they could be made of metal. And European settlers did start coming to Nukuaro as early as the 1800s. And so there was trade that occurred, which is why we can see that some of these figures were carved using metal instead of Trindaka shells. And pumice is used in the end to smooth the figurines. The function of the female deity is to be used as a centerpiece of ceremonies that honor deities of Nuguoro. And these deities are both represented by and reside in the Tino Aitu, which is slightly different from um, certain other cultures of which the wood carvings themselves simply have the deity residing in it. It's it's both a representational and like considered more of a, a living spirit. And these ceremonies which honor the deities were harvest rituals instead of Funerary rituals, thinking New Ireland, there's a lot of practices there which were specifically funerary, whereas this practice, it's not funerary. <laughs> Context and content. It's important to note that because this is a Polynesian outlier, the ideas of hierarchy and the art forms like wood carving were inherited from the Samoan settlers who came to Nukuaro. And as we said previously, missionaries did reach the Caroline Islands in the 1800s, which changed a lot of the longevity of objects. There are several other islands in Micronesia and Polynesia and Melanesia that were not reached by Europeans prior to like the late 1800s. So culturally, there is a difference. And there are some artifacts that are longer lasting than um, the female deity artifacts, which most of which were actually exported off the island before the beginning of the 20th century, which is why there was kind of an erasure and practice that happened with the reigning female deities. There's a, a similar stylistic form across all of the female deities, and that is that they have a subtle or lack of presence of eyes and nose, and there's a chest indicated by a line, and they have ovid heads, which point at the bottom into a chin and columnar necks. Um, they have very sloping shoulders, and their legs are typically flexed, as you can see here. It's a highly stylized art form, and the style is very consistent. So I wanted to compare this to the double-faced female figurine, which is number 10 in the APR history list, which is in the prehistory content era, which is from Mesoamerica and was created way, way, way before all these female deities. But comparing and contrasting the forms, the female deities have very minimalist heads, whereas the Tlatilco figures have very intricate heads and hair. But similarly, both figures have a lack of emphasis on limbs, or at least like the hands and the feet. And interestingly, what differs is the kind of curvature of the Tlatilco figurines versus the kind of very boxy form of the female deities. So it's interesting to compare these representations of women across uh, time periods and across cultures. Coming back to kind of the colonization context for the female deities, most of them were exported off the island before 1885, which I think is a pretty, pretty early date for Polynesian, Melanesian colonization or like missionary. There are still some cultures that remain pretty consistent until up to the 1920s, whereas on the Caroline Islands, a lot of this ceremonial context and function 
of the Tino Aitu were changed and lost pretty quickly. And this figure on the right is actually a European appropriation by a Swiss artist. And so there are questions that range in the Melanesia, Polynesia, Micronesia area about how European appropriation affects how we see the objects today and how we see those artworks. So that connects the female deities to some of the other Polynesian and Melanesian and Micronesian um, artifacts.